In this video, we're going to walk through the installation of the Aviva Telemetry Server, one of the products in the Communication Driver Suite, which covers protocols such as DMP3, IC60870, and Modbus, which are traditionally used in industry verticals such as power distribution, water, wastewater, oil and gas midstream. To walk a little bit through the installation process, let's take an example for power distribution. The towers here can be depicted as the remote terminal units in the field monitoring those stations and all that information will be brought to a central location running system platform and operations management interface. There will be some runtime components running telemetry server software which in itself needs the operations integration core as a prerequisite for some of the backend components. Now, given the fact that this information will be part of a system platform project, we will require also system platform running locally, which will install the operations integration server components. The rest of the video will then show the workflow for the installation. During the installation process, we're going to be walking through the system prerequisites, followed by the product installation, licensing, and finally product initialization. Let's start with the system prerequisites part of the installations. When you install on a machine that is brand new, you're going to start unpacking your software and running the setup for the installation. The first time that you attempt to install the telemetry server is going to give you a message that the operations integration core, the OI core, at least a minimum of 3.0 is required to proceed with the installation. Now, given the fact that the OI core is a prerequisite, you could install that by itself. But because system platform in itself installs the OI core and we will be communicating with an application server platform, then instead we can directly install application server, which will install the necessary components. So we're going to go ahead and kick off the system platform installation here. And we're going to use the product selection because we're actually going to install some specific components. We just really need the runtime components from application server and we also want to include here the licensing components so we can activate the product at the end of the installation. Through the rest of this workflow we're going to follow the prompts for installing the system platform components which include adding the login information for the user that is going to be register as the administrator in the node and then this will follow the installation of the prerequisite components for application server so we'll let that installation proceed and then once it's completed we'll come back pause the uh, recording for a little while and then come back after that coming back the main part of application server installation has completed but we still have to perform the configuration step for the uh, node in question uh, first part is to configure the node as a licensed server and we're going to be doing it in this case so we can exercise the license activation. The second part is to enable secure communications across the nodes, but we're not going to enable that for this case just to streamline the workflow for this particular installation. Now that the application configuration has been completed, then we'll reboot the server and then proceed with the product installation. Now that the application server components and OI core components have been installed, we can proceed with the telemetry server installation. We launch the installer and the product in itself would have some prerequisites that will need to be installed as part of the normal installation of the product. In some cases, there may be a need to reboot the machine as part of the uh, initial prerequisites installation process. If that is the case, Go ahead and reboot the machine and then come back and reinitialize the installation. Once the prerequisites portion of the installation is completed, then we'll go through the normal workflow for installing the telemetry server. One important part to note here is the telemetry server has built-in security. As such, we require you to create a user, an administrator user for the product in itself, for which you just created the username and password. After the completion of the installation, then we'll proceed with the licensing configuration. To activate the license, from the start menu, launch the Aviva Enterprise License Manager. Once the utility comes up, 
Then the next thing that you require is that XML file, that license activation entitlement that you receive from the distributor. You will have to find that file, browse it from the system, and once you have acquired the file, we can go through the next part, which is the activation process. For this particular workflow, we're going to do the streamline activation, which requires that the computer be connected to the internet to do the direct activation with our system. Now that the license has been configured, you can proceed to launch telemetry server. You will find the telemetry server configurator icon on the desktop. You may also want to validate that telemetry server service is already up and running. From the configurator, you will launch the logon screen and proceed by typing in your credentials. At this point, you're ready to use telemetry server and perhaps take advantage of the sample sets that are included with the installation. We will review those in a different video. Thanks for watching.